That's the most ever. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it just it just tells. I mean, the the season that I've had. But um, I have to first start by, you know, thanking Kevin Pritchard for drafting me, Coach Nate for coaching me. I mean. Every, every day out there this season, I mean, they did a great job of help developing me and allowing me to play my game. So, I mean, to win that many first place votes, I mean, it's, it's a dream come true. I'm still smiling. <laughs> it's 10 times better than I thought it would be. <laughs> I mean, all week I, I knew they would make the announcement today and um, I had a good feeling I would win the award. But um, until Coach called me this morning and, and left that message on my ass machine, I mean, it's, it's 10 times better. And then coming here with, with all you great fans, it's, it's just making it even more special for me. Yeah, it's, I mean, they say it's one out of every million kid makes it to the NBA. And um, to win Rookie of the Year, I think those odds are even, even greater. And to, to, to make it to the NBA was always my dream, and I was excited to do that. But uh, the minute I was drafted, I said I want to be the best pro I can be. And uh, I just try to continue to set the bar high for myself and, and um, try to strive for those goals. And uh, to come out here and, and win this award, I mean, I, I can't even, you know, explain how I feel. I mean, it's just a great feeling, and uh, I'm excited. But... Now that it's over with, I want to get better and be an all-star next year, and I want to be in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, um, it was, I think it was very important that, that the Portland Trailblazers drafted me. I thought the situation was great. And um, just knowing Coach Nate McMillan and following his career, we, we have similar positions and him being a guard. And to know that I would be coached by a coach who played combo positions, it would make my transition a lot smoother. And um, it allowed me to come in and have a good rookie season. I had a coach who understood what I would go through. And uh, he just helped me so much throughout this whole season. And um, not just him, but his coaching staff. I had, you know, a number of conversations with each one of them who, who really helped develop my game. So I think being drafted to Portland was the best situation that I, I could have possibly had. Um, I don't look at it as pressure. I look at it as, as motivation. Um, just after, I think, my first summer league game, a lot of people picked me to win this award. And uh, instead about... Instead of thinking about how to win the award, I just thought about how can I get better and how can I approach this season to help my team get better. And um, every day, somebody said, how do you think about rookie of the year? And I'll just let it go to the back of my mind and think about how can I continue to help this team get better. And if I play at a level where this team is improving, then I will be in the race for rookie of the year. And uh, that's just been my mindset. So this summer, I'm going to try to get better and think about how can I help this team get to the playoffs. And Hopefully I'm in a race for things like all, um, going to the All-Star game, but if not, if this team is improving, that's just always been my goal. It makes me feel great because, um, well, I have to thank my mom. You know, she's sitting in the front row. But it makes me feel great because those are the things she, she installed in me at an early age. And to hear people say that, you know, Brandon Roy is a role model or Brandon Roy is a better person than he is a basketball player, I mean, it just makes me feel great because that's what I strive for and that's what I want people to say about me. So... To hear all these great men say those things about me, it just lets me know that I'm doing something right and that uh, I should continue. <laughs>